Ah, babes. Ah, my level, level code. Ah, let's have some fun. We'll just start dating. And the codes are revealed already. Let's see what else we can reveal with this. I think you like this one. Right, let's start with a 147. Yes. Right then. And then, depends on, you know, me personally, I'll go to this side like this. I think my 147 like on that first triangle with a star David. Then, I want to put another number in. So I'm going to do the 6 code. I'm going to use the 582. So, same here. I will put the uh, 5 here. What well, I'm doing the 5282. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Now, this is where the magic comes in. So, now we're going to go to the 9 code. Remember the 9 code? The 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5. Why we do that? So we're doing it from the one to the two to the four to the eight to the seven to the five. Obviously, back to the one. Look at that. That's vortex. So if you didn't know about vortex, man, put in codes in. Where was that? Part of the vortex. Take a look. I'll show you something here. This is where I get it from. From my book. And I thought, you know, these are all the codes I've already shown. Some of them I've put a T on it. Maybe I've got some time codes there. Who knows? But, that's what I'm saying. You put number codes to the start of David. If you want to do that, we'll do another one. And it reveal. Just reveal another shape. We do the, we could do the one four seven and the two five eight again, but we could do it in another way around. So we're going to do one four down here and seven. So it's still the one four seven, and then we're going to do the two five eight. We do two. We do the five right here. We do the eight. Now once again, we add the nine code. Add the nine code, which is one and the two. Now I'm going to two now. Anyway. To the four. Up to the eight. To the seven. To the five. And you're back to the one. Now, that code and the star David are really in hexagram. We've all been hexed. You can get any geometry in there. It's closed down those bits. So it's just showing you another one, isn't it? And this one, I thought was quite interesting as well. <coughs> see if we can get this one out. Right, there's the go again. So, right, let's get another shape. So I'm doing this freehand. No, no. So I'll do it just to try and like this. Let's do a line across the top like that. Make another triangle up. Full freehand. Right now. So if I can get this one out, right, we do the 174. Which that works, isn't it? Yes. 174. So that's part of the free code. And then 285. Like this. See where we go with this one. So we go one, remember the nine code? Where's that? There? That's the route we take. So we're one, to the two, over to the four now. Now the eight, seven, five. Obviously, where we go? Back to one. I know that. Alright, I'm going to join these lines a bit better. But you can see it's sort of like the atomic sign, isn't it? Like toxic or you know, that would be filled in. The more perfect, you'll get that better out. This is what I'm saying with Will's things. These codes, 
who ruled in his shapes and geometry through the Star of David. There's more codes I've left out that you can add. And you'll get a, just, just a different variation of what we can see here. And you can argue that you do the free code together, you do the free code twice, it still reveals this. So we've done the three and the six together, you can do the three and the three, we can do the six and the six, and it will reveal this. You know, try and have a look. I've done other videos with the um, with all the other see it with the other codes broken down a bit for you. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the bit. Got anything to add? I appreciate that. And I am peace, I am love, and I love you all.